found a butchery then we passed it. Wow, still place, it's still there. It belongs to the owners of Rabi. You know we can't go through there without finding a butchery. In or even there yesterday. Like you are in the Hey, they have nice meat. But I wanted to buy a kibanda. Uh, they'll sell for I know where I'll buy it, right there. God, but I might I might not go outside because they know me and they might really, really engage me. Hey, see Romania is there's a butchery called they can't believe I won't go inside there. I used to live in that big flat at some point. So we we'll go slowly. There are so many still places. It has very nice meat. Eh? Is it very nice or just nice? Ah, Nairobi Technical, where my brother went to college. Can you take it? Call it Nyama. Even Wagon Hotel, they used to have meat. Nairobita, because it's big now. That's why we took Ruth to my friend Domi. Doctor, she was so sick yesterday, she had an allergy. And now she feels better. So, where is the meat, meat Nyama? This place has changed, Manzi. Okay, that's Wagon. Jesus Christ. We're just seeing Mutura here. I think I know where we'll buy meat. Nipeleke karam manda kafupi. Uh, Kambu Road, but we don't need to uh, divulge. Eh? To look for meat now in Park Road. <coughs> oh. I think I've already seen the meat. I think it's here. I'm going to the meat. I'm going to the meat. Yep. Because the meat is on. <laughs> The meat is almost finished. Is it only here? It's so little. Look at the meat. Do you want to do it? So they, they slaughter it every day and sell it out every day because these are places with a lot of people. So we are buying a kilo of meat, fresh meat, for like 480 shillings. That's about four euros. And that is fresh meat. Fresh, fresh, fresh. It's not from the supermarket. It's not. Mm. Frozen, it is fresh, and it was slaughtered today morning. As you can see, it doesn't have a refrigerator. You can see it doesn't have a refrigerator. This is because he has to sell his meat today. So, very soon, someone will be here and there'll be no meat because I think we are taking the last piece. Yeah, soon there'll be some, nobody here. I used to live here <laughs> with Jewel. In this flat? Yes, these are flats. We used to live here. This is where I started life. I love her crowd. I used to feel at home here. Everybody was so nice and kind to me. And I'm sure I can still see people who know me. But I'm going to keep a very, very low profile course. Um, like, you know, I'm running out of time and I have things to achieve and things to do. And everything feels very new and the people feel very new. And yeah, it's being cut. That is customer care. So to we'll just go home and cook it and I think it's going to taste really nice because it's organic and it is not mm, frozen, it's not from the supermarket, it is fresh meat so I can't go wait to go home and fry this meat and just taste because it tastes so different from the meat I eat out there. It has a very, very nice taste that I will never find abroad. I never, never find that taste. I'm trying to say that our meat tastes really nice. It has a taste. 
But if I buy meat out there in Europe, I have to spice it because it has this flat taste. I don't know why, but our meat is organic. Like it just grows naturally from nature. So, wow, it's a lot of meat. You can see it's going to be enough for all of us. And then we'll get going. I hope it will be made very quickly so that we can quickly make our way to Naivasha. We didn't want to go at night. We really did not plan to go at night, but I don't think we have much choice at this time, given Francis. So we are going to make the best of it so that I can at least see my parents. Okay, so that's it with Paco. Um, it's a bit there. I can see a woman who is drunk. <laughs> It's really sad that she's a woman. I feel so sad. It's very, very sad. I don't want to imagine what will happen to her if she doesn't wake up and she's there at night. I don't, I don't think there's anything much I can do to her, but maybe I will try and do it. She's carrying something, so she just took something and it overpowered her. She took something and it overpowered her. I don't know what it is that she took, but she took something and it definitely... What do they, are they called? Look at her safari vehicle. Like I told you, the tourism industry is on its knees, so there is nobody going on safari or, or doing some anything. What is it? What has she taken? What do you think she has taken? She has taken some painkillers. They're called Cosmo. Thank you so much. There are no plastic papers in Kenya anymore. You do not carry plastic papers in Kenya. You get arrested. You have to... We are trying to save the environment. Thank you. Oh, Yui, I have to send you the Mpesa again, like I told you, things are so convenient here. You don't need to carry cash. Everybody takes a Mpesa, and I love this so much. I mean, it saves me the hassle of the worry, like maybe someone will grab my wallet, because nobody steals money. Nobody steals the telephones anymore, because the, the police will catch you. They can trace the phones. So nobody grabs your phone and runs away with it, but take care of your phone. I didn't tell you not to. So, so we found some tea, and I believe it tastes really nice. And I would like to promote this lady by just taking tea from her. I believe it's probably better tea than the one we took from Sarah today. Thank you. So we are going to eat. Let me taste your tea. Well, this is really nice. So she's made it there with her chico. Do you want to show her chico? She's making it here with this charcoal banner. Ibu inua to do kidogo. Yeah, that's the charcoal banner. That's why she's making her tea. And she's also selling eggs and smoking and making her money. It's really nice. So, Ribu chai means let's have something. Are you adding sugar? Are you serious? <laughs> Do you know how much sugar is in this tea? Okay. So we are leaving Park Road now. It's behind us. We've got our meat. And we are now going to touch maybe Moranga Road. I don't know. And yeah, that's the whole of this place is Park Road. We were right there. That's Park Road Hotel. Bangani police station. It is an Indian organization, the Goan organization in Kenya. Goan Institute. How are you working? Goan now the country is in it. Then there's a police post, it's called Bangani Police Station. There's the BCI. BCI now. Uh, division of BCI. Really? It's not like, uh, where is Bangani police? Well, okay. So yeah, we are just about to hit Kiambu Road. Today we are very lucky. I think 
that time we have stopped to take tea has been very nice because the traffic has gone down. No, I think we've been. Mm, it's okay now, yeah? Traffic in Jaranza. Oh, yeah, the traffic hasn't started. And it's 6, 6 p.m. So apparently. About the traffic in the so we are very lucky. We are on Kiambu Road now. now please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up